Hi everybody, today I want to talk about the main thing that you've been doing your whole life that relates to UX. And that's the way that you learn. The way that you learn as a child or as a toddler is really, really similar as the way that we do UX. But then for some reason as adults, we start to think that we're meant to know everything and that we're not meant to fail. And so we stop learning that way, which actually stunts our growth. So let's talk about how babies learn to walk. Baby doesn't sit there and think, okay, how am I going to walk? Let me make a plan. I need to make sure that I perfect this before my giant presentation of this walk. Otherwise, people are going to be disappointed in me and I'm going to fail and I'm never going to have an opportunity again. That's, that's nuts, right? Like, a baby's not thinking that at all. A baby's just doing and a baby's just trying and failing and trying and failing and trying and then eventually succeeding because that's how we learn as humans. And somewhere along the road, us adults thought, oh my gosh, I have a job and I need to make sure that my boss isn't disappointed in me and so I need to make sure that everything's perfect with this presentation and nothing needs to go wrong. And it's just not the way that humans work, right? Like you're just meant to try new things. And then if you fail, you learn from those things. And that's what retrospectives are all about, is learning as a team together, like why you guys failed so that you don't do that again. And I don't think that we give enough time to talking about the fact that it is okay to fail. Like the only reason that you're failing is so that you can learn. So if you're under the illusion that you're going to make the perfect product or design the perfect application and that everybody's going to love it right away, I just want to give you a little bit of a reality check, which is probably not going to happen. And also, if you're doing it that way, you're not getting any feedback, then you're probably wasting a lot of time and money trying to make this thing perfect that's probably not meeting people's needs. So. The better thing to do is follow a UX method where you do it in iterations and you slowly produce maybe a paper prototype and then you go and test it and then you produce a wireframe and then you go and test it and then you produce a high fidelity mockup and have it be clickable in Envision and then you go and test it and then you produce a full fledged coded lovely application and then you go and test it and that's that's all you're doing you're just learning and trying and failing again and again and again and again, but through each failure, you're just learning about what people want and what they need and how you can better serve them and better help them in their life. And that's all UX is. It's just a bunch of jargon around talking to people and figuring out what they need. And you've been doing that your whole life through your entire development into adulthood. So continue to do it in your business too. But seriously, stop being a scaredy cat. Go try something new today. Stop being so nervous about failing.